Drew was going to lose in a fist fight to a French dude. I know y'all did not think the butcher was going to lose in a fist fight to a French dude. That ain't never going to happen, baby. All righty, guys. Here we are. Starting a brand new career mode in UFC Undisputed Forever. And, you know, I hinted to the next character that I was going to use. Um, if you've been keeping up with my videos. But, yeah, the, uh, <laughs> the character we're going to use is Brian Battle. He's a created fighter, obviously. It's not an exact one-to-one -one ratio, but I think I did a, f a fairly good job at least, you know, um, creating a representation of him. So, Brian, if you're somehow watching this, you know, like, you know, how you're represented in this, please don't come and find me. Please don't beat me up. All right. But, um, I know he's an MMA guy. He's a pretty well-rounded dude, but typically I always like to do a wrestling base just because I always like to have ways to take it to the ground if need be. Brian, uh, looking at his fights lately, he fights from both Orthodox and Southpaw. It's not uncommon for him to switch stances in between combinations. And I'm going to make him a righty. Okay. Luckily, I already did a career mode, so I don't have to do the tutorial again. But it probably will make me do a uh, test sparring match. Okay. <clears throat> Here we go. You gonna touch gloves? Wow, you son of a bitch. It's been a while since I played. Playing so many different combat games kind of mixes me up every now and then. Okay. Definitely gonna have to learn a head kick at some point. Maybe. Good. I know Brian has that big Shenron uh, Dragon Ball tattoo across his back and on his arm and you know the only way i could like really somewhat resemble it was to basically use the same dragon over and over so it's not an exact replica there are other tattoos that he has like i think he has like a lotus flower on his left arm and oh yeah this is it now i've been doing all my um, career modes on advanced, but it's time to, it's time to take it up a notch. I said I was going to do this, um, so we'll do expert. Yeah, I know. And we'll do simulation for stamina. Alright, I feel like this video is going to jump around a lot, but, um, let's see. <sighs> All these fights only give me one action, right? Okay. Uh -huh. You know where this guy's from? It's from Paris, France. Hey, I know y'all didn't think the butcher was going to lose in a fist fight to a French dude. You know I have to do this. Okay, so I only have one training camp. Um, Actually... I want to learn a head kick right off the bat. I don't know what team I'm going to end up going with. Let's see. I'm going to do... Yeah, right head kick. I don't know what camp I'll end up going with. Maybe Greg Jackson. But, I mean, we'll see. AK is a pretty good gym as well. You want to be, like, top heavy. Good. 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 Alright, I wonder how difficult it's gonna be to, like, actually learn these movesets now. Especially with sparring partners, man. Are they gonna really kick my ass now? Probably. Ah, oh, there we go. Alright, not terrible. Guess we'll fight now. See how this goes. Alright, man. Let's see how much of a difference Expert makes as far as difficulty. Get out, get out. 
My goal is to try to win by a head kick. Obviously, Brian is well-rounded. If it gets to the point where he's getting the better me on the stand-up, I will go to the ground. I'm hoping that, that by the end of this career mode, because I'm definitely going to lose a lot in this uh, in this spike difficulty. But I'm hoping to, that being forced to play on a higher difficulty than I'm used to is going to make me a much better player. I'm hoping. Oh boy. Oh yeah, it's already much harder. Okay, no, shoot. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Okay, hold on. Good. Okay, ooh, boy. Good. Maybe. There we go. I kind of said I was going to try to do a head kick knockout. And I instantly wrestle him. Okay. Yeah, man. Brian Battle. He, I think he's a dark horse of that welterweight division. And especially after that uh, post-fight interview that he had after UFC Paris. Yeah. I think a lot more people know him now. I know not too many people watch Ultimate Fighter. But, I mean, he won that season. I think it was like season 30 or whatever. And he has really grown to his personality, man. He knows when to turn on the heel card when he needs to. Maybe. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna get this right away. I'll try. Ooh, you're lucky. Lucky I had short time. Yeah, that's the dragon I was talking about. It's literally just the same dragon over and over again, but it's the closest thing I could get to represent uh, the Shenron tattoo that he has. It's not really much in the way of, like, flowers that kind of match the ones that he currently has. And I can only have, like, so many tally marks, because I think he has a similar thing of, like, what Gustafson has. Gustafson has, like, the spade tattoos... But depending if he wins or loses, they're either filled in or they're not. I think it's on his arm. And Brian has something similar, except it's tally marks. So every black tally it represents a win, but then every red one represents a loss. And, you know, you can only have so many tattoos on your character at once for this game. I think you can only have, like, ten layers. Oh, I got, they don't touch gloves. That's the first. Damn. But yeah, I plan to be in the WFA for a while. Don't be surprised if, like, more than 10 fights into this career, I'm still in the WFA. Ooh, nice. Maybe. Ooh, this would be a good win, man. Oh, nice. Nice. <sighs> There's definitely a spike in difficulty, man. There definitely is. Eesh. Look at him celebrating. Alright, let's look at this replay. Nice little rear naked choke. Hurt him on the feet. Followed him to the ground. Had no choice but to tap him. Y'all didn't think a French man was gonna beat the butcher, did you? The winner. God, I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna use that callback so often during this career mode. Oh, why does his hair look so weird right now? Oh, why does it look that way? No, take me out.
Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to level up my cardio and defensive skills a lot before I actually get to the UFC. I did not get submission tonight or anything, though. That's fine. Okay, so who do I want to fight next? You're a Komi. Damn. Do I dare try to fight uh, a no guy in a co main event? Let's tune up. Oh, you're the highest rank. You're a fill in fight, though. Ah, uh, boy. Oh, you're in main event, though. Um, I think I'm going to try this Aiden No guy. Let's see. Okay. Um, so I'll get my speed up and my striking up, too. Yeah, I guess so. The bag's all yours. Get creative with it and show me what you Yay. can do. I have to figure out what gets my cardio up the most. Too. Rotate around. Which I'm pretty sure it's the uh, tire filter drill for cardio. It's good for strength as well. Here we go. Change position. Everything is coming together. I know the uh, UFC Undisputed Forever team. Okay, adjust. All Move the your feet. modders that you know came together for this project. They had another update for, Circle over. that came out on Halloween. So. Basically, Nicely one of the big done. things, aside from, you know, some stats and movesets getting Here we go. updated, Change position now. Um, pretty much every uh, champion, circle, or circle. any person that was a champion, damn it. There we go. There we go. I'm going up here. Paying off. Come on, 10 seconds left. Technique strikes now. Any Let's go. Uh, champion, current or former, will now have stuff. that, like, champion logo. And Bruce Buffer will actually mention whether they are a current or former champion for that division, which I thought was a pretty cool touch. Also, the Charles Oliveira character, they pulled some audio. Because when this game first came out, Charles Oliveira was a DLC character. So now when you're actually fighting as Charles, they'll have like more accurate commentary, uh, commentary which is pretty nice. Alrighty, man. Second fight. Let's go. I'm trying to be a little technical here. Oh, shoot. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, no. I couldn't reverse it. Damn it. I can't get the timing. Oh, this is so bad. Oh, this is so bad. Okay, finally. Reversal. Okay, got that one. Yeah, I feel like I'm going to get so tripped out on the ground. And I'm going to get countered so often on the feet during this run. Submissions are probably going to be much harder to defend against, too. Okay, you got him. Nice. Not to use a lot of feints. Oh, damn. Can I stop it? Yes. It's not a bad round. Not doing terrible. It'll be much better once I actually get my stats at a respectable level. Oh, boy. Nice. Okay. Not a terrible round. Pretty back and forth. Can I stop it? Nope. Shit. Messed it up. Okay, I got the reversal though. That's good. Oh boy, I don't really have the stamina. If he throws up a submission, I might be screwed. Oh, you idiot. Why would you try that? You're so stupid. Oh, caught it. 
You gonna do it again? You idiot! <laughs> Why would you do that? You're an idiot. I caught you with it once, like not two seconds ago. Why would you try it again? <laughs> what a moron. Yeah, bask in your glory, Battle. With a name like Brian Battle, or with a last name Battle, how could you not be a fighter? Yeah, look at it. What an idiot. He played right into my... He played right into my game. He activated my trap card. Just... Boop. I don't even think that knee landed cleanly, but... It was good enough. Uh, he made it to his feet. That's always nice. The winner. All right, so we got a submission and a knockout. That's good. Oh, why does his hair look that way? Why? It's so strange. That is what it is. I did not get knocked out of the night either. Damn it. Wait, who did? That's five of the night. Colin Mack, huh? Are you in my weight class? No, you're lightweight. No one got a submission? Oh man, I could have I could have won a reward. Damn it. That's alright. Okay. I'll do one more fight for this episode. Alright, you're a number one contender fight. Hmm. A fill in fight. Well, they say fill in fight, but all the other ones only have one action too, so yeah, I'll do Chris Whitaker. Why not? <clears throat> yeah, I I imagine if I can somehow actually win the title for WFA, I'm gonna be in the WFA for like at least 10 fights, maybe a little bit more, because I do not want to rush into the UFC. I want to actually make sure my skills and attributes are at a respectable level because i definitely paid the price for jumping into the ufc uh too soon like probably most notably my most recent career mode actually with chuck norris my first ufc fight was against kamaru usman and oh my god i was not ready for such a skill disparity that that dude knocked me out and he knocked me out bad so I do not want to make the same mistake in this career mode. Let me see. Um, I guess I'll focus on training. And what does... Wait, what is the best cardio? Transition? Eh, that's pretty good. What else gives me good cardio? Focus mitts? I'm terrible at that mini game though. I suck at that. 63... That's 64 for defense. That's not bad. Um, you know what? I might do defense drill. That's a pretty important skill to have. Defense. Time for some defense. Anticipate okay. and block. Let's go now. Wow. How do you miss? Active feet. Don't stand there. Let him think about where to hit you. Bro, how are you Stay missing? Moving. Circle. Nice defense, man. My God. Okay. I don't know if I'm gonna get the full benefits of this now. He keeps trying to work land off. a lead head kick, but he somehow kicks over don't my defend head. Like you're scared. Defend like you're smart. That's it. Making nice progress. Oosh, that's not great, man. I'm not gonna reap the full benefits, unfortunately. Don't let him find his range. Move nicely done. Eesh. I should have played this a little differently. I look fantastic. Okay, well, I'm at least gonna get the second best tier. Would have been better if um, if he wasn't missing his head kick. That was just weird. Okay, uh... Okay, I still got four points for cardio. That's still pretty good. Everything else only got three points. 
No, wait. Three points for the clinch and ground striking, and then four points for standing strikes and standing kicks. Okay. That's not bad. Ooh, this Chris Whitaker guy is a freaking animal. Jesus. Look at this freaking beefcake. He moves fast for a big guy, too, man. Jesus. He'll take you down. Let me slow this down a bit. Oh, never mind. Suck. Did not have the timing. Superman punch? You gonna throw it again? Oh. Okay, missed badly. That's fine. Hey, defense drill worked off. It paid off. Alright, come here, Chris. You love that Superman punch. <gasps> oh no. Oh no. Oh no, this is a bad start. Oh, okay. Oh boy, okay. You know, oh shit! Oh no. Oh, this is so bad. I was having a good round. I was having a good start. Eee. Okay. Get him out of there. Damn it. Damn. I was about to say I was having a pretty good start to the round, but he managed to rock me. I rocked him back though. Ugh. It's gonna be a war of attrition this one. Yeah, keep throwing. Yes! He didn't block it right. The timing was off. No. I'm gonna knee your body. Good. Nice! Get him, Brian! Yes! Can I get five of the night? Can I get five of the night? Come on. That was a pretty good fight, right? We rocked each other multiple times. Or... I mean, he, he rocked me once. I rocked him a few times in that first round. It was back and forth, right? Come on. Give me a fight of the night. That's right. 3-0, and oh, baby. The winner. Boom. All right. Not bad. Called it. Fight the night. <laughs> Love it. Ooh, we can have our first sponsor now. Um... I'm gonna deal with MMA Elite. Why not? Ooh, we might take five of the year honors, huh? Ooh, yeah. I like that. Nice. Okay, well, not bad. 3 0 start. That last fight gave us uh, five of the night honors. It might get us five of the year as well. But I think that's a good stopping point for this first episode. Yeah, you know, um, I can definitely feel a difference in the levelty, or <laughs> the levelty, the difficulty. Um, I imagine it's going to get much tougher as we pr proceed in this career mode, but yeah, thank you guys for tuning in and watching. Consider leaving a like, comment, subscribe to the channel, helps me out, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.